clips, so let's see if I can get a rolling burnout. There we are. Uh, it's a burnout in general, kind of, I guess. What is up, guys? Welcome back today for another episode of BMG Drive. Today, we're going to be finishing off a few cars in a fun way. And, yeah, we're going to be showing you guys some new stuff we've done here at the house. Nothing's changed except the drift car, you know, over further in the driveway. My chair is still broken, but I'm expecting to get a new one tomorrow. So let's go rip this car for a little. And let's go enjoy this car. Because at this point in the series, it needs to blow up. Not wreck the bumper, but hey, it happens. It'll be fine. So today we're just kind of finishing off a few cars in a fun way. What I mean by that is like this car needs to be blown up so i can show you guys what we have in store for it next and then the other cars are just driving them to make sure we built them right so like the clap box is back from paint no going picking it up they brought it to us and i gotta say i am excited for it to unveil the clap box like to you guys and then i believe they got the new engine in the honda which i'm going to show you guys that but if you guys want to see a more in-depth dive of everything behind the scenes we can do another rp series or i can start showing you guys more of the cars we built which we got a lot more to go it's just these current projects are taking up all my time so uh let's blow this thing up after i turn off trash control of course i totally forgot i had that on okay let's have some fun with the subaru type car the sunburst just drifting it anyways guys why i'm over here trying to blow up the sunburst i just want to say thank you for all the support recently it has meant a lot to me to see you guys commenting and stuff so i'm glad to see so many people like the bmg drive series i try to do it once a week and i'll also you know I've done a couple different upload schedules so let me know what you guys think about the upload schedules me personally, I like doing two to three videos a week. Uh, House Flipper just got a big update, I believe. And then I uh, want to do some more Outbreak. I feel like we didn't get a fair shot the other night. So we might be in revisiting all these games soon. and More like The Sims. I haven't forgot about it or, you know. So if you guys are excited to see more content, let me know. Uh, that was our rear bumper. Good thing it was an eBay special. Can we lose it right here or no? Okay, we'll have to do a little bit of body work before the car's done. But uh, as I was saying, if you guys want to see anything, like just let me know game-wise and I could probably cover it. There's a lot of big releases, I believe, in the fall this year and next year. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm going to do farming when it comes out because I am excited for that game. Even though I don't record a whole lot, I do love it. It's just I've been stuck in a rut on my single player save, so working through that little bit of a rut. But uh, yeah, guys, I just want to say thank you for the support, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this BMG Drive video. I, this is literally like the thing I get the most comments for, so and I like doing it honestly. Like I was afraid at first of doing this whole BMG Drive thing. Honestly, this has been the most I've ever played BMG is when recording it. When is it going to say head gaskets? And finally, let's get it home before it blows up. Wow, this thing's still quiet. Good thing we got a fix for that. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed doing the little burnouts there. Or not burnouts, but uh, the little donuts. I was, you know, having fun doing that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Oh, this car doesn't got much longer left in this world. I don't know if you guys hear the knocking. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a towed home the last quarter of a mile. I will be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. In, uh, in another video, we will fix this car. Like I said, I was trying to get the blow up so we could do what I need to do next to it. But uh, excited to see that it blew up because, honestly, it wasn't going to blow up on its own. So kind of glad so let's take the sti for a short sorry let's take the sti for a short rip before we go to the shop in the drift car
I think this is the car we took home last time that we had a ton of fun in on the corner, so I ain't going to be doing too much this time. Maybe I might turn off ESC, which is Electronic Stability Control, I believe, and Trash Control. Wow, this thing flies. Sorry if I'm quiet, guys. I just love how this thing sounds, feels, handles. Like, this is literally... This is, like, literally everything that red car is in. Ooh. I mean, the bumper's a little messed up, but uh, we'll get it fixed. Okay, let's stop before we blow the engine because uh I'm not trying to blow the engine in this one. And then we'll have to reattach that bumper at another date, which isn't the day because But we did it on the red car, figured, you know, why we were there was one of those things. See if I could pass another person, and I did. Now let's let it cool down. And I'm not going to take that corner too fast. Oh, I lied. Ah, oh, sorry guys if I'm quiet at times. I just, I really enjoy the cars I have built. Like, there's been some great cars I've built. And this is honestly one of them. I didn't think I was going to do that much to this car, but here it is. Which, that was the original daily that started this all. And then, yeah, now we got two of them. Technically, three of them. Let's get to the shop and talk about that. And we're going to take the scenic route. Because uh, I just broke in the engine on this thing, so excited to drive it. Does it have a radiator? Okay, it's got a performance radiator. We should be good for what I'm trying to do. Yep. Scrape that AI a little bit. They probably won't care. Let's dump the clutch in third. These are some of the worst drift tires I have ever felt. I don't feel like pressing in the clutch, so let's just bump start it with the starter. Okay, one of the tires deflated. Hmm. We're still going to try to have fun with it on the way to the shop. Because I don't feel like turning around, hopping in a different car, and yeah. I totally forgot this car is not uh, slammed, so we're good, and it's got no front bumper, so. Oh, we're just blowing these little all-season tires off, like, fifth gear at 100 miles per hour, still going sideways. I mean, I could probably in six, too. Oh, we didn't have enough wheel speed. Messing up the synchros a tiny bit, but it'll be fine. There we go, just had to dump the clutch, and we're back in business! Sorry if I seem a little tired, guys. Uh, it is currently, I think, almost 11 here. I don't know why, I choose to do my videos late at night. Uh, we had other video planned today, and then the recording fell through on that, so here we are in the good old reliable BMG. I was going to save this later in the week, but I'm just going to do that other video later in the week and start off the week with some, you know, some good BMG drive. Oh, can we? I think that tire being out just 
we'll let it drift right now. Or I just need some better tires, because like these tires do not grip at all. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. Straight dogging on this motor now that it's broken in. There we go. Honestly, even with the flat tire, this car's enjoyable, so. We just need to do a little bit of suspension work, and honestly, this wouldn't be a bad car. So I think we're just going to leave this car at the shop today, and just do some work to it. I don't know, it sounds weird saying that in the time, but this car has honestly deserved the work that we've done to it. As long as I don't drive it up against a wall or anything. But honestly, we got this car as a rolling shell. And it has came a long way, so excited to see where it goes. If you guys have any ideas of cars you guys would like to see next, drop it down below in the comments and I'll get to it. Whether it's real life or in-game vehicles, I will look into getting it. So yeah, let's pull up to the shop and we'll kind of go over what we got going here. Since we're going to work on the drift car soon, I'm going to put it in front of our RP truck. Wow, this thing does an insane burnout. And I guess that tire blew out. Since we, these were just roller wheels, means it's the perfect time to get some, like, aftermarket three-piece wheels. Sorry if you guys hear a lot of chair noise. My chair's still broken. I know, I think I've gone over this beginning of the video. I do get one tomorrow, so we're going to be back to normal operations tomorrow. So, it's kind of why I've been chilling on the upload schedule, too. So, yeah, this is our wrecked STI, as you guys see in the front. We did pull it out a little bit. It's not perfect but we pulled it out a little bit with some some of the tools we have here i did part everything off the front end so far uh because i don't know whether we're going to put a new motor in it or if it's the end of the road for this car haven't decided that yet and i'm going to sleep on it a bit but we do got the engine stored out here let's see if i can go out here quickly it is out here in our little container thingy so and we got more parts for cars over there. It's it's a mess around here. Uh, that's our office. Okay, so I guess the big reveal is over. That is the clap box. I know, I know. Allen induction hood, a nice deep blue, some progressive wheels of blue. I forgot what they're called in the game. Adler, they're not the back steers. I'll let you guys know what they're called in game, but they're Adler wheels. I forget what they're called in real life. I really don't know muscle car stuff well. That's why I thought they're called progressives, or I don't know. I just know in the game they're called Adler, then like push or something is what they're called. The fronts are 15 by 7, the backs are 15 by 9, wrapped with a semi slick tire. Fronts got race tires. Uh, we still got the GM uh, LT1 under the hood. I'm honestly thinking about picking up another muscle car to do a proper, like, drag build. Like, let's take it to the track, do mods one by one till we need them. Because I technically just built this car already. So, let me know if you guys want to see that below. Let's pick up a muscle car next video and just start taking it to the track. And yes, this thing has now got a supercharger. So, if you guys want to see in the next video... Like, maybe us building a drag car day by day or, like, event by event. Let me know. I'd, I'd be down to build a drag car, so. Wow, is that just the clutch slip? Oh, that's the wheel spin. Like, this thing is a monster with the supercharger on it. And, yes, we finally did an upgraded radio. I don't remember if I had the supercharger on it last time or not. There is now, and it's got better suspension. Wow, I cannot press the clutch in. Oh, please don't wreck it. 
Okay, guys, we are back. We can't do any, like, hard, like, standstill launches because this car does not have a four link and the drive shaft will literally bend out of it. And I've learned that the hard way, so that's why there's so many cuts because I was trying to show you guys the cool launch. Like, if you launch it just right, it may still break the drive shaft, like, five feet in, so. I don't want to break the drive shaft, so we're just going to drive it kind of... Man, even with semi-slicks, this thing just lights it up. Like, well, okay, guys, I was going to drive back further, but trying to show off the launch, I figured out uh, the drive shaft bends easily. So, yeah, sorry for that, like, wide range of cutting. Uh, I'll take it down the block one more time, but I mean by, like, sorry for the wide range of, like, cutting the footage, like... I know I don't show a whole lot driving the cars, but a lot of times they end up broken <laughs> during the drive. Like, this car is just dangerous. Like, it'll break traction every gear. Like, once I get around this bend, I'll make it break traction in fourth gear. And, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Like, just watch this. Like, fifth gear doesn't lose traction because we're not going fast enough, but... That's insane. This car will literally break traction all the way up to fourth. I know we kissed the wall a little bit, but I don't see any damage. And you can hear the race brakes. Okay. Somehow I got it stuck. Okay, guys, I'm going to get it unstuck, and then I will be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, we are unstuck. Let me throw it in first. Let's try to do a rolling burn. Okay, that was some fun. Anyways, let's get the car back to the shop before I wreck it for, like, fourth time trying to record this one clip of me enjoying it. See, you can get sideways. We got enough wheel speed at fit. Okay, guys, I forgot whether I've gone over everything that's done with it. I believe I have. We're back at the shop. Sorry for, once again, another split in the footage. Uh, just not having the best of luck today. I crashed the car multiple times, like I said, trying to get that one clip. So let's see if I can get a rolling burnout. There we are. Uh, the burnout in general, kind of, I guess. stopped within an inch of the curb. There we go. Wow, just throwing it sideways in the third. Okay, let's get it put back in the shop. Before I destroy it, because this thing is honestly really mint condition. I mean, probably, honestly, this is what we're going to take home since the drift car is out committed. Eh. It has been a while since a certain vehicle's even managed to come out of the shop. So let's put this back in the corner. And because it's too nice to be leaving outside, we got, you know. I don't know, we just don't got anywhere to put it inside once we get back home. So, uh, let's get in this car. I am really excited to show you guys this car. We finally got a new motor. Uh, I was going kind of over it last week, but it's the 2.0. I think it's the same 2.0 that's in that car behind us, but this one's got more mods. But exit turbo. Let's see what it can do. And I believe I just put a regular front wheel drive transmission in, which soon we're going to do the big brake swap, all wheel drive. We're going to go more in depth after. We still got to get the front end fixed, but. On 12 PSI, this thing just won't grip. Like, 
look at this thing. Oh, can I save it? Can I save it? I saved it. I honestly thought all hope was gone when we went sideways. Let's climb this curb gently. Hmm, that did not sound very gently. Like, look at that. We're just leaping rubber. This thing is hard to control, so maybe we can start working on some of the suspension stuff. Ooh, tapped a little bit of a rear bumper. Oh well, it's going to body work anyway soon, so excited to see what they do with it there. Uh, sorry if my mic got a little quiet there. I leaned back a little bit in my chair. It's hard to sit upright in it right now because it's broke, but uh, like I said, uh, tomorrow is when I get my chair. Uh, so this episode's kind of been all over the place. I'm sorry about that. But like I said, we can get more cars and do more full-on builds if that's what you guys want to see. This is just, you know, my first kind of, like, walkthrough of BMMG. So I'm kind of confused on, like, you know, what to record, what not to record. So if you guys want to see a muscle car get built in-depth and take them to the track, same with, like, a track attack car, then I can do that for you guys. But uh, there's the STI. I guess we'll figure out what to do with it in the next episode. Let's drive the dirt. I forgot whether this is a Duramax or a Cummins. Let's pop the hood and find out because I am interested. I am intrigued. We also need to do the black interior swap on this, put some better wheels on it. Are you not going to let me pop the hood? Okay, it's not going to let me pop the hood. But whatever it is, sounds good. Let's lock in the rear differential. There we go. Over torque risk. Oh no. It's only making six pounds of boost on whatever diesel this is. Woo! Cutting it up like how we do in the cars and the truck. Okay, guys, we are going to get this thing towed back to the shop. Okay, guys, turns out in my D35 truck here, uh, it was an LBZ Duramax, so uh, we might rebuild it or we might just come and swap it. Haven't decided yet, but let's get in this thing and drive it home, I guess, since it's our only car left. And I'm going to avoid the highway because that's where it feels like everything bad happens. There we go. I want to open it up, but we're on semi-slick semi tires going around corners. That does not sound like a great idea. Uh, but you only live once. Oh, I just, I like how this thing sounds. It honestly sounds really mean. Ooh, nearly totaled it. Wow, this thing's just, the supercharger's a nice touch, I think, on this LT1. Wow, this thing is just... I like it. This is honestly a sick car. I mean, it still needs some interior work, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting to the final product one one piece at a time. But like I said, if you guys want me to do like another barn find classic car, we can. Like, this car is never meant to look this nice, but well, here it is. 
And it used to be a little inline six car with no power. Now you can literally basically shred the tire in every gear. So if you guys want to see me build something piece at a time to see what the difference is in all the parts at the track, then I can do it. And then, like, same thing with the track tack car. If you guys want to see, like, yeah, I'm down. So let me know what you guys want to see down below, like, what build next. And I think eventually soon we're going to have to sell one so we can store more. Like, there comes that point. And honestly, I don't want it to be the clap box. The clap box is honestly a very nice driving car. Like, and that's why I'm leaning towards parting out the STI, because then that gives me one slot back. And, I mean, we always haven't had that one slot available. Like, we've always had slots available, but we never had the money. Now we have the money and not enough slots of, like, cars. So, maybe Soon I can I don't know I need to make a couple decisions on where we're gonna go next that's why I kind of want your guys's opinion if you guys want me to start another build or not and then go through that next build kind of more thorough but yeah guys uh, we're almost home I'll be back with you guys once I get this thing parked okay guys we are back here the sunburst we all remember what happened to it excited We've got a whole new drivetrain to put in it uh, this guy, nothing wrong with it going good. The clap box, which I guess we can't call it that anymore. Ooh, we squeeze between the two. It's back home, parked like this, so... Because there's nowhere else to park it, and I don't want to park it all the way out in the grass, so... It's there, but, uh... Anyways, like I said, if you guys want to see more of, like, building cars and do more thorough builds, then let me know down below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's content. We were messing around once again. I need to start figuring out what more to do because uh, I think we got to go pick up some more projects. But maybe in the next video we'll do something cool with the sunburst. Something after we swap the drivetrain in to kind of remember the past. But first, before we do that, we got to get the truck working. So maybe we do the truck and then haul the sunburst or haul the STI to scrap and haul the sunburst to the shop. So in the video after that, we can work on it. I don't know. I can't give away my secrets, guys. So just stay tuned for the next video. Drop your ideas down below. I've been appreciating every single one of your guys' comments. Thank you for every subscriber for making this possible so far. And with that being said, guys, this is Colby underscore 22. This was a shorter or kind of short BMG Drive video. So I'm going to get out of here. But uh, sorry for it being kind of short. I know I'm all over the place right now. But... Uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching today. It means a lot. I know our BMG Drive videos probably haven't been as packed as they were in the beginning, but we're going to get back to that soon. We're going to start picking up more projects and being more hands-on. Like, we got the clap box back, so now we can go take it and drag race it or track tack it once I figure out why the drive shafts keep blowing out of it, which probably is just going to need a four-link setup. But anyways... I'm going to get out of here. We might take one of these two cars. We might take one of these two cars to the track. Sorry about that, guys. I had to yawn in the middle of it, so I just clipped it out. But anyways, hopefully in the next video, we are taking one of these two cars to the track. And with that being said, guys, this is Colby underscore 22. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. And scroll on down below. Hit the like button. Read the description to know what uh, products I'm using over here. Uh, while you're down there, like I said, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell. So you guys get notified every time I upload. And then scroll on down to the comments. Type how your day was. What you guys want to see next. Stuff like that. Anything, honestly. And then uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. This is Colby underscore 22 signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video where we may be playing something new. Or it may be BMMG Drive. Who knows? Uh, that'll be a surprise. Or you guys can check the update section or like the post wall thing. I forget what it's called. And see what I'm going to type. I might put a poll up of what you guys want to see next. But anyways, guys, this is Colby underscore 22. I'm going to get out of here before I talk too late. See you guys in the next one.